We have to beat the two red buses. If not, then uh, there's no chance for, for an overall win for us. The first Volvo Ocean Race took place in 1973 when 17 yachts set sail from Portsmouth and made their way around the world. Flash forward to today in Newport, Rhode Island, and a lot has changed, much of it due to technology. Our goal is to bring people you know, right into the real thick of what's taking place. HCL is the official IT partner of the race, powering these boats you're seeing here into mini TV networks, and this year with the help of 5G. So we got camera in here, camera in Basically what we're trying is to stream live, uh, you know, from the boats, from the seven cameras that we have on the boat. For example, that's the technology we're using for uh, for the 5G. But stakes remain high for the sailors who choose to go out in these boats. Just take this Instagram post referencing a sailor lost at sea. We want to bring fans close to it, but we also want to make the operations of the event um, very safe. In many ways, technology has made it safer out in the water. I'm trying to find what uh, it causes a crash because we don't want it to happen during the lake. Organizers not only have the ability to track and analyze the fleet's position and sailing conditions from the headquarters in Alicante, but also communicate instantly with the crew through the video and audio channels. We just monitor really what, what's going on and make sure everything's correct. This is the kitchen. But technology <laughs> hasn't changed everything on these boats. We've got uh, bunks on either side and the guys will always be sleeping on the high side. Looking ahead, HCL says it's hoping to incorporate more IoT devices, analyzing things like the sleeping patterns of those on board. In the meantime, though, the 2018 Volvo Ocean Race is pushing ahead, now heading towards Cardiff, where it's set to arrive by May 27th. I'm Diana Blast with CRN TV.